Hello friends, this is my second video lecture on trial balance and rectification of errors. And in this video, I would like to explain the process of rectification. If you missed the first video, its link is available in the description box. On rectification point of view, there are two types of errors. One sided error and two sided error. An error which will affect the agreement of trial balance is called one side error. And if it is if an error which will not result the agreement of the trial balance is, is termed as two sided error. The rectification process for these two types of errors are different. Means one side error treatment is different from the two sided error. A little bit differences are there. Now let's examine examine how this rectification process takes place. For the problem solving, first of all, we need to identify whether it is one sided error or two sided error. How can you identify whether the question is, uh, is from one sided error or not or two sided error? error? For it has, uh, I'm suggesting a tip. Uh, it, if the question says it's a case of overcasting, undercasting, wrong amount positive please note i'm not saying wrong amount recording but i'm saying wrong amount in positive then wrong side positive these four cases result in one side error, error. and if it is not one side error then it of course normally uh, it can be two side error got it so once you identified it is one side error uh, you know the special aspect of one sided error. Most of the one sided error will affect only one account. So for for writing the rectifying journal entry, we need two accounts. One account will be the affected account. The second one should be the suspense account. For the rectification point point for the rectification of one sided error, we open a special account, a temporary account called suspense account. Then we have to take the uh, suspense account in relation with the one side error and the second account it should be the affected account say for example yeah if if the question is like this purchase book has been undercasted by 1000 rupees so this is a question do you identify whether it is one side error or two side error tell me yes it is one side error because the question says purchase book has been undercast it affected only purchase account as it is a one side error we take a uh, suspense account and the second account should be the affected account it is purchase account clear then again we are looking to the question the question says purchase book has been undercast by 1000 rupees got it so what what happened purchase book has been undercast the amount debited in purchase account I mean purchase account is undercasted by 1000 purchase is basically a debit and debit amount is red is uh, undercast so what is the solution purchases account should be debited uh, with 1000 rupees and credit with the another example sales book has been overcast by rupees 1000 so whether it is one side error or two side error tell me yes it is one side error Take the two accounts. One is as usual suspense account. Why? Because it's a one side error. And second one, it should be the affected account. The affected account here it is sales. So sales account and suspense account. And imagine, uh, and what is the what says in the question? Question says sales book has been overcast by one thousand rupees. So sales is basically a credit, and it is over here. So sales is basically a credit and it, its amount is much higher then it should be reduced for reducing the sales account it should be debited because the basic character characteristic of sales say, uh, sales account is credit and that amount is much more than the real so for reducing the sales account it should be debited so sales account debtor to suspense got the idea amount 1000 so the rectifying journal entry will be Tell me sales account debtor to suspense 1000.
See the next question. Furniture purchased 1000 is posted to furniture account 100. It's a case of wrong amount posting. Therefore, it's a one sided error. Clear. So, it takes the two accounts. First one suspense, then furniture. Then thinking, imagine what happened actually. At the time of posting, furniture account is debited with a lesser amount. Because we debited only 100 in furniture account, means posted 100 only. So, solution is it should be debited because we need to uh, add 900, the difference amount should be added to furniture account. So, the rectification journal entry will be furniture account debited to suspense. Next it is uh, cash paid to Raju, 1000 is wrongly posted to credit side of his account. It's a case of wrong amount, I mean wrong side posting, uh, one side error. Uh, Raju's account should be debited, but it is wrongly credited to his account. So for the rectification, we take suspense account and Raju's account and Raju's account should be debited. So the journal entry will be Raju's account debited to suspense. Here we, we have to write uh, double amount means 2000 instead of 1000 for cancelling the old credit 1000 and give, giving the correct debit 1000 therefore 2000 should be debited okay now let's examine uh, the case of two sad error uh, say for example repairs to machinery is wrongly debited in machinery account this is not the case of one sad error because it's not a case of overcasting undercasting wrong amount posting wrong side posting but it is a case of wrong account posting so repairs to machinery should be as it's a revenue expenditure it should be debited in repairs account clear but the accountant is wrongly debited in machinery account itself clear so what is the correct journal entry here correct journal entry will be repairs account debited to cash and the wrongly the accountant wrongly debited in machinery account so the wrong entry will be repairs account i mean uh, Machinery account debtor to cash. So by looking to these two journal entries, we will get the final rectifying entry. Rectifying entry will be repairs account debtor to machinery 1000. Here we debited repairs account and for cancelling the uh, wrong debit of machinery, we credited machinery account. Okay. See another example. The payment of proprietor's life insurance premium 5000 was debited to insurance account. Here the correct journal entry as it is a proprietor's withdrawal amount or uh, business uh, spend some amount for uh, proprietor's personal expenses it should be debited in drawings account. So correct journal entry it is drawings account debtor to cash but uh, it is wrongly treated as business expense and uh, taken in the insurance account. So the wrong entry it is insurance account debtor to cash therefore the rectifying entry will be drawings account debtor to insurance clear. The next one. Rent paid to landlord is wrongly recorded in his personal account. So the correct journal entry as usual rent account debtor to cash. Then wrong entry it is treated as personal payment. So landlord account debtor to cash. So the, for the rectification we need to debit the rent account, rent account debtor. For cancelling the wrong debit in landlord it should be credited. So uh, rectification journal entry rent account debtor to landlord. So DS this is the simple mechanism for rectification of two side or error. Uh, first of all, we, we have to write the correct entry, then wrong entry. Then by looking to these two entries, we will get the rectification entry. Okay. Okay. Thanks for watching my video. Thanks to all. Uh, keep learning. Bye.